Here we are with another bite battle, and this time it's Super Rogue versus Exoticorn, which is also going to be a banger. Because it's Mr. Bite Battle himself, Super Rogue, uh, versus Exoticorn, who is also Mr. Bite Battle himself. So, uh, two Bite Battle misters. Super Rogue actually invented the, the, the Bite Battle format, so yeah. he, he's the real bi Bite Battle person himself, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> He's the real my, my humble opinion. <laughs> no, he's the, he's the uh, yeah, get it, got it off the ground, and um, so it's awesome to see him participate as well. Versus Exoticorn, who has also been around for a long time from Germany uh, since the mid '90s, uh, and he participated at Outline. Well, we have the countdown already started. Eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one, and go. They have started, go, go, they go, have go, started, go, go. and immediately tip typing is happening. Uh, what's what's the topic for... Uh, oh yeah, the, the random the word. I should have paid attention. Square! Square is the, Square. the random word. Okay. Um... I wonder how Exoticorn is going to make a tunnel out of a square. Because Exoticorn has this tendency to do tunnels, as we saw at Outline during Bite Battles. He did tunnels all the way. <laughs> he went all the way to the final. He did tunnels three times. Square, so we're square going to tunnel. see uh, a square tunnel. And we have a, that, message that's what from, I'm a message from Rogue saying that Havok really wanted uh, him to be available on Sunday. So that's why he's like fighting Exoticorn, because <laughs> he probably won't win. So no, do go <laughs> vote for your favorite. Don't let it um, interfere with you. And let's see, we have 25 minutes on the clock. 256 bytes to reach. The stress levels are high and the, the keyword is square. Both of these guys are really experienced with the TIC-80 uh, language. Super O did tons of tricks learning the language and size coding for the language, coming up with the Byte Battle format itself. So he's already a legend on TIC-80. Exoticorn did so well at Outline that uh, he reached the final and lost on the final against Gopher. But uh, he did so well that I think everybody expects him to do pretty well on Battlegrounds as well. So this is going to be a really close match and really intense. That's my prediction for it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and then again, every bite battle is intense. But yeah, this is really good contestants. Oh, here we go. Oh, some squares. Square. It's hip to be square. That's what I've heard. Let's be a little bit pedantic. Are you supposed to be multiple squares or just one single square? I, I, is, it, is it free choice? I think that in multiple squares, there is one square in those multiple squares. So you're still hitting that keyword. Uh, yeah, so I'm just being pedantic then. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I think I think when it's square, uh, it's square. And they're both very <laughs> square at this point. Oh, uh, a square made of dots yeah. and a square made of squares. A square made of squares. Or multiple it's... squares. A skewed square is making a square. It's very skewed square. You can see these colors, the lovely colors from the, the color palette from uh, TK80. Pleasant. Sweetie 16 it is. And Exotic Corn is using that go to two points trick as well to not have the function tick, which a few people uh, seem to know about, and I, at least I didn't know about before uh, before starting commentating these these battleground things. No, but it's, I've it's, seen uh, it's how it progresses. It's how the oh I love this is a square but with like oh, plasma, plasma in a square. In plasma in a square. Uh, but this is how size coding is also pushing those limits and having people break or change, or just breaking, is it changing, the rules to optimize. And I think that gives it an extra layer of of um, interesting yeah, interest and I think also just like excitement in mm -hmm. the bike battle because there's so many things happening. I can't even follow myself. Super Rogue is already over the limit. But uh, he seems to be done with the effect. I mean, uh, we have uh, plasma. Oh, now it's slightly s circles coming up of the square. Yeah, so I like that dots. he's messing with it. And, uh, and I think oh, I have a square, squares. but there's other squares. It's a plasma. Oh, they're, they're both going for square the square. Square. 
And it, it feels to me that the square is rotating, but no, the squares are are, are square. <laughs> it's the whole thing that if, is rotating. If you like send us how many times we said the word square and win a prize, <laughs> and the prize is sadness. Uh, <laughs> Super Rogue is definitely over now. He's at 317. So yeah, he's but he still has that message to Havok up top there, so which he will take away, so it kind of throws us off. Exotic. It's hip to be a square. It's hip to be... Oh, yeah, he's going for that reference. It, it's it's what all the cool kids are doing these days, are being squares. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's uh, Super O gives us that Yui Louie and the News shout-out. <laughs> Which he would do. It's absolutely... <laughs> it's if one person would do that, it's Super O. So, absolutely. It makes a lot of sense. I'm curious minutes. with Exoticorn, what he's coming up with, because he had that square of squares going around but uh, I'm wondering what he's gonna do with uh, motion in that yeah it's now 20 minutes or 5 minutes gone and it's at the bit by battles the time goes so fast and Exoticorn doing that like building up slowly 137 bytes and Super Rogue is going all out oh he's actually changing the effect as well but now the squares became rotating squares so what are you voting for as well? All the iterations? The final effect? The journey there. In the end is what we all vote for. Yeah, it's part of showmanship, isn't it? The journey to, to reach the final effect. So you should count for something. At least I know it slightly influences the way I vote. But, you know, uh, vote according to your own conscience. Yeah. And uh, do what you think is best. You're the judge of yourself. And uh, Super Rogue, what he likes most about the size coding is surprising himself. Like, just so actually putting yourself on edge. After being in the demo scene, he's been on and off in the demo scene for 30 years. So at one point, it's like, how do you keep it interesting? And uh, Exotic War. He was a bit inactive for like a decade or so, for, wasn't he? For like 20 he, so. years. Like, he was something he made his <laughs> last demo in like 2002. I've been around for 30 years. I disappeared for like 20 of them, but I'm back. Yeah, I think in 2002, <laughs> 2003, and then he came back in like 2016 or 17. Um, He's been doing great stuff, though. So I, yeah, I kind really of I kind of got him back into it a little bit, and we met some Trepan demos, and then it kind of went from there, and then the size coding got him. And uh, Exoticorn <laughs> is the same, he's also been on and off in the demo scene doing stuff. Um, and he likes the adrenaline rush the adrenaline rush of being on some kind of virtual stage and not exactly knowing what will happen. And I think that is exactly what makes this so interesting. It can go either way. You can prepare something in your head, but you still have to code it in 25 minutes. And there is no help. There is no... The, the prep is in your head. You're not allowed to copy paste. You really have to type it in all yourself. So absolutely that like the, the 18 minutes in and we've this can still go everywhere it will definitely be square oh <laughs> exotic corn is oh, bringing us some nice very, 3d squares 3d squares very nice pillory effect there with perspective and everything wow that's really interesting and 151 bytes so it's also still well in the size limit that is like a good place to be at 17 and a half minutes definitely Favorite demo from Super Rogue is Modus by uh, Swedish MFX, as I call them, and Bright Light calls them. <laughs> Swedish MFX. Hello, to, uh, hello to, to speaker. Yes, uh, Spikenator, and shout out, because uh, yeah, running the Atari scene, I want to say by himself, but it's unfair to the rest of the Atari scene, but yeah, SMFX. Been banging out fantastic demos for a few years now, absolutely. And the favorite demo by Exoticorn is Seraf, which is a size code intro by Rola, which has some I, very I, I, I've heard that it's stuff. pronounced Rojojola. Rojola. Rojojola. Like that. Was, I was pardon, told. Pardon my non-existent Czech. Yeah, it's a Czech or Hungarian, I think, it's, but it's Rojojola, as somebody once told me, and I love saying it. Rojojola. Shout out <laughs> Rojojola and Spikenator. And everybody else. We love you all. But uh, mostly Super Rogue and Exoticorn, because they're coding right now. Right now, 16 yep. and a half minutes left in this round. Keyword is square. 256 bytes to hit. Rogue took away his message, I think. Oh no, he still left a good luck to Exoticorn in. Rogue is kind That's of like that. He will, I think an outline he had a round where he kept a comment in his code until the end. As kind Just of to have that extra, yeah, as, extra buffer that he can remove at any time. But he kept it in, it was like a show off, like I don't even need to do 156 bytes, like I do it unless I have a comment in there. <laughs> it's kind of that like bravado I appreciate as well. 
Okay, Exoticorn is about to put some motion into it. He just uh, put a variable of time the and he is, moved all his squares outside of the screen. <laughs> they're gone. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to modulate that a little bit. Or and they're put gone. The sinus in it. <laughs> that was very funny, though. I see. There we go. There we go. And they're gone oh. slowly. <laughs> but it keeps the perspective. Yeah. That, that's what oh, that's matters. That's good. That's good. And Super Rock has changed this effect like nine times in the meantime. Now it's 3D. But 3D it's still square. squares. It's still squares. Yeah, fantastic. 15 minutes, so we're not even at the halftime. And we've already seen like, I think, like 27 iterations of Super Rogue's effect. <laughs> and uh, Exoticorn slowly building up. That, and that's that perspective. If he gets that right and it scrolls, that would be a fantastic effect to, to see. And, uh, the Another great soundtrack that we have for, for this bite battle. I just now I, f I feel uh, I feel better. Is this this is not H plus, is it? It's not H plus. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's definitely IDM. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> in that H plus realm. <laughs> I I I I think it's Radix yeah, it oh, sounds from right. a house job demo. It might be. It wouldn't I be could surprised. be wrong though. Yeah, that, that. If, so, if I am wrong, please shame me on the on the please comments do. on the on the on the Twitch channel. Yes, it's only been in the demo scene for like ninety six years. I bet you know they call me the Google man when I visit Spain because I know everything about the demo scene. And they just ask me, but I've been I've been rusty. So yeah, with this, like, I can be on point all the time. <laughs> and, and no offense to Radix or Dune or whoever made this, but it is like there was a <laughs> flurry of these kind of songs, and they're all great. So. I miss it. I wish I wanted to come back in the like twenty year revival of the nineties, bring back like classic IDM. With Tick eighty being coded for it. Yes. So here now we go. Now we have Exoticorn including some sort of re inclusion yes. of his thing. Is which, it random? Uh, I think it's random. Uh, I'm gonna say it follows a pattern, but it could be random. I didn't look at the code. It looks, uh, but yeah, he's 180, so he's good in bites. Rogue is a bit oh, over. Oh, here we go. Oh, smooth. Slightly a little bit more, just slightly a bit more, so you don't see the clipping, and then we're good. Very smooth. Yeah, this is already. He could, you could call it quits, and everybody would be kind of happy. I hope he doesn't, because <laughs> he has 13 minutes left. But very neat effect and it only in 180 bytes so that's actually he has room to mess with it where rogue is in 295 okay this soundtrack i'm pretty sure it's md so okay. at least there we go, there we go. <laughs> my, uh, my google my google man skills have been avenged or maintained yeah, you've been maintained a vague <laughs> manner your credibility is back <laughs> yes thank you uh, meanwhile, what what is Super Rogue up to? Yeah, he's been typing. Putting his everything into a lot of code. Ah, he's he's starting to crunch it into a single string. Oh, he does that to, load say, string. Like two yeah. bytes. Hmm. How does that trick work? That you load your whole code in one string and it saves you a bunch of bytes, but then after that you can't read it anymore. So. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he knows about the go-to stuff that the, the other people have been using. Yeah, maybe maybe that's like the trick you learn now. Like, oh, this is this is very Legoy now on Exoticorn screen. He's messing with those colors. Mm -hmm. Over the halftime, twelve minutes. It's hip to be square. He's gonna leave that in. This is pride. That's Super Rogue's pride. <laughs> so go vote for you who you think is the best. But yeah, oh, this is look at this now, lovely. Yeah, Exoticorn got the brief and executed it very well. But, uh, and this is so favorite color. Favorite color for Super Rogue is eight, which is the dark blue. Which he and is not favorite using. Color. <laughs> so he's so favorite that he doesn't even need it. That's his handicap. He he's does not going to use trick. his favorite color. He does his trick where he says like, if you don't know what colors to pick, pick purple and orange because they always look good. <laughs> and he's doing that right now because it's true. Like you look at his facts, looks very neat and very clean. It's like those colors are like like a given color. Like it will work. It will work. It will look. It will look good. And actually, I think Exoticorn is doing the same with the greens and the purples. 
Mm -hmm. Just putting some contrast in it to make it more colorful. Yeah, I wonder what he's gonna do, like if he has more up his sleeve for this effect or if it's just gonna be a more polished version of that scroll. As again, nobody will be mad at that. Maybe could also move up and down. Challenge. Yeah, yes, ten minutes. Super Rogue oh, again. I think I don't know, I know how many iteration this is for Super Rogue's effect. He gave us he, Super Rogue gave us many squares in this round. And it, it's Let up to you if you want to weigh that into your voting. Like, do you vote for his final effect or that whole that whole trip? I find that really hard. Because I enjoy the trip as well. I really enjoy seeing these iterations and seeing the coders figuring things out and what am I happy with. And especially Super Rogue is really like every second something new. Square inside a square. Definitely very... Oh, Exoticorn is going for more depth. 3D stuff? Oh. Is there going to be a tunnel in the end? A tunnel of square. <laughs> It's his trademark signature, so I wouldn't rule it out. If you rip that out at like the last 10 minutes and it's still gonna be a tunnel, I'm gonna take my hat off for him. Because that is like. <laughs> you thought this would be squares, yeah. but it's a tunnel! It's a baller move, squares. it's a baller move. <laughs> Super Rogue is hacking over and not compiling, so he has some problems there. Uh, oh, he still has that comment in, so that says, oh yeah, here we go. This is neat. What a neat effect. Yeah, Super Oak is going for that old school DOS aesthetic, Amiga aesthetic, what you call it, 90s aesthetic. <laughs> but having lots Super of Oak issues. Super Oak is dealing with errors. Yeah, yeah, lots of issues. Well, nine minutes, like it's not nothing to panic about yet. And I think these are two seasoned coders. They won't let it come to that, that, that size limit panic. He said, hopefully. <laughs> Hopeful, <laughs> but please don't. So have nine minutes left. Yeah. I like I like these iterations on Exotic Coins effect as well. What he's like experimenting, what he can do with his cones. I think square cones. Eight minutes. Yeah, Super Rogue's other hobbies are reading, climbing, and yoga. That's why he's so calm and chill. Aww. And uh, Exoticorn's other hobbies are singing and chess. Mm. Versatile people we have, not just programmers. It's, it's important to sing. Absolutely. It, clear, it clears your mind. So it's a, kind of a yoga, I it's guess. Singing is also kind of like a yoga and chess as well. It's like it's a, the mind training, so... <laughs> but yeah, no music and singing absolutely is good for the soul. Mm -hmm. We said listening to a fantastic track with breakbeats. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> yeah, great selection by Genio yeah. taken from the scene set, was it? Yeah, Our I think uh, uh, demo vibes, scene set, like. Oh, demo vibes, yeah. yeah. Demo scene music all the way. I'm very happy with the, the breakbeat resurgence that's happening now, and there's so many good breakbeat coming out. And it's all made by kids that weren't even born in the 90s. It's fantastic. <laughs> so this is the traffic cone placer. <laughs> Except <the> corner. <laughs> traffic cone machine. Place your squared cone here. I really am enjoying. I'm like this round has a good iteration sequence for both of them. Like you can really see the experimentation and that makes it so hard to judge the final effect versus the trip. Super Rogue is still messing. I think this is his final effect. There will be this like cube of squares. But he is over. Oh, there's the dark blue. There we go. He had to be true to himself. We, did, we never mentioned the favorite uh, Sweetie 16 color from uh, Exoticorn. It's number six. Color number six. Don't ask me which one it is. I don't know. <laughs> it's color number six. It might be one of the lighter blues, I guess. Yeah, if like dark blue is eight. Several. Then. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how That's it's That's my theory. Out. I'm not that well versed with the Sweetie 16 palette. But. <laughs> Although I think they increase in lightness to go all the way to white, which is 12. 
So it might be even darker. So it might be something else altogether and not a blue. Whoa, look Looking at Super Rogue. Yeah, Super Rogue is now going. He's going back to using all the colors again. Yeah, I am really enjoying Super Rogue. Just like 25 minutes of malarkey. <laughs> like I'm just going to go <laughs> do things for 25 minutes. And then we'll, at the end, we'll have something. Well, Super Rogue does have a reputation to upkeep since it's Dutch. So he needs to use all the colors. Absolutely. Otherwise, he would be fired from the Dutch scene. From the Dutch demo scene by Jace himself. Like, <laughs> the Mr. Dutch color scheme is it would absolutely fire him if he didn't use all the colors, preferably twice. <laughs> so the last five minutes are coming up. It's been a fantastic round. Absolutely square round as well. A square round! <laughs> but um, <laughs> the keyword absolutely used to great effect by both contestants. What is a Starfield no, now in Exotic Horn? Starfield. Or is it just okay. a bunch of pepper shakers? <laughs> Salt shakers. The, the Starfields count as squares? I guess uh, if you squint your eyes, I they're kind of squarish. Square, squ on the stars, I think it doesn't I think I don't think everything has to be squares, although in Super Rogue screen it definitely is. We need a better definition of how to use the keyword. No, it's like too vague. It's the beauty it has of like, it. It's like, it has like creative space. Yeah, it's the beauty of it. You can do whatever the, whatever the hell you want with it. And I think they're both really well within the keywords range of squares. Especially Super Rogue is just exploding with squares right now. Yeah. Is he doing multi-part kind of stuff with the color changing? Or is this just like now the color, the color flurry? Didn't seem like multi-part to me. No, I think it's just the one part that he's just adding all the colors to. Hmm. In terms of size, both of them are slightly over the limit. Yeah. But Super Rogue has a little of an advantage. He can remove the hip to be. He, uh, he, will, he will not, though. He will make sure he fits in. <laughs> if I know him, he will do that. If not, he will do it. I don't know. But uh, I think now they, these are both like seasoned coders. They will be on their game in the last few minutes to make sure they fit in. I'd be very disappointed if they would be disqualified. Mm -hmm. Sure, hope not. Yeah, I can have imagine. a clean round and give everybody a lot of trouble voting because this is going to be another nightmare yeah, to vote on. The Super Rogue said like, oh, Havoc wants to get me on Sunday, so I'm not allowed to win. I don't think... Uh, you're, I think you're failing at that at this point because this round is hard to judge. But then again, they all are. All rounds are hard to judge because it's... Yeah, everybody always is bringing their A game to these bite battles. Like, everybody is going all out. The joy of size coding. So, three minutes. And inside an infinite labyrinth of squares. An infinite labyrinth of squares, I think. And colder killer squares as well. Yeah, and this is, yeah, I think so. Exotic Corn is at 245, so he's he's in, he's he's pondering like, am I done or am I doing something? Super Rogue will use his last minutes to fit in size. Fit in more squares. <laughs> he's fitting in more squares. We need more squares. We have the technology. <laughs> Absolutely square fast. Psychedelic too as well. Absolutely. I think Rogue went from like using nice like his his proven colors to like favorite colors to all the colors. Hmm. In rotation. Two minutes left, reaching the critical phase. Yeah, two minutes is now you kind of have to get like get ready to wrap it up. But then again, because there's so little code, you can also still muck with it for a long time. As long as you keep your eye on that clock, like like Exoticorn is kind of playing it. Well, eleven bytes over ten bytes. He's. What is he doing? Just delete everything. Who needs code anyways?
where his exotic orange code? Yeah, where did, did just, the code go? Did he just, did he just like <laughs> remove his code? Hide his but it says 255 yeah. there. So where did the code go? Is it? I, I guess it's like scrolled to the right or something. I, he did something. Or is this a bug? Uh, or he did something. His code is gone. <laughs> and now Super Rogue has to really. Ah, uh, now he's back. Uh, okay. Has to amp it up. I think he was scrolling. Is like both of them? 40 seconds left. Both of them are over the limit. Exotic coin is back. Well, in. now both of them are okay. Yeah. Exotic yeah. coin. I think they're both done as well. I think they're both done. They were just playing with us. It was just trying to fire up your heart a little bit more. <sighs> As they always do. As they always do. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done here. 25 seconds left, but I don't think... I think they're playing it. I want to say safe, but I think they did enough as well. This is a great round. Look at these effects. Both very square. Yeah. Big round of applause for both of these Absolutely. contestants. Super great Rogue work. And great round. Fantastic work. And go vote. Who is your favorite? Who should win this round? We'll show the effects for a little bit, and the time is now officially done, but yeah, they were done for a while. And that's what you know. With, really cool stuff. Yeah, what you what you get with these like seasoned coders, that they will, like the last 30 seconds, still be like, okay, I'm done. Here we go. Madness from Super Oak, look at that. Super Oak still managed to put like a little text up there. Yeah. Like, it's the square. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Hilarious. what I wanted to be. It's a square, like so. It's square on multiple levels, so you can give him props for that. He also got square in there. And, and your exotic thing. horns thing. I love with, uh, exotic horns iterations and shaping, but I like that he, like, I like what came out like in the end, and it's a very pleasing S effect. Square cones in space, getting aligned. Getting aligned, and it's always very pleasant when something gets aligned. Mm -hmm. Watch it for hours. So we'll run this for a little bit. Go vote. Very important. If you don't have a vote key, you can ask for one uh, in the chat or on Discord. Ping us to get one, one of the admins, either Super Rogue or myself, and uh, we can give you one. Yes. So you can vote because it's important to vote. Absolutely. Vote, 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 vote. Get a vote key and a vote. Okay, we'll read this running for you. For you people to vote while we go get ourselves some water see you see you soon everybody see you soon enjoy the effects